Okay, Excel can calculate a Pearson correlation coefficient for you. This is the most traditional calculation when people refer to the term correlation. So uh, it's a measure of how much one variable changes as the other one changes uh, in either a positive or negative direction. Here's a bunch of data that we have here about people who came into a bike shop, whether or not they purchased a bike, but also some demographic variables. Let's just calculate the correlation between the number of cars they have and how old they are. So when I do a correlation, first thing I'll think through logically, is there a theory that should explain this? Yes, as people get older, they typically make more money, get more raises, can afford more cars because they also have more kids. So generally speaking, there should be a positive correlation between cars and age. So let's calculate that now. Equals corral, open parentheses, it needs two arrays. So an array is a group of numbers and each array represents all the values for one variable. So let's grab age first, it doesn't really matter though. I'm going to, oops, try it again. Go all the way down. When I record a video, my control key doesn't work for some reason, so I have to do it this way. All right, there's Corel table two, because I'm using the Excel table, it gives me uh, the table name and then the column name rather than K2 through K1001, but I could just as easily type that in here, K2 through K1001. Anyway, comma, next array. Let's grab here the number of cars right next to it. Take it right back up to the top. And see how initially it's calling this J something to J1001. As soon as I'm done here and it recognizes, oh, this is just the cars field, it changes table two to cars. So don't be confused about using the term table two rather than the actual cell references. Close parenthesis, enter. So my correlation is 0.19. Because it's positive, that means as age goes up, cars goes up 20% of the units that age goes up. So that's a pretty strong correlation, generally speaking, but as you know from the book, if you're following along, correlations range from zero to one. Rarely do we ever get a zero or one. It's, oh, sorry, correlations range from negative one to one, uh, depending on the direction of the correlation. But uh, this test doesn't tell us whether or not this relationship is significant, statistically significant, meaning uh, that this correlation exists uh, not due to chance, but because there's an actual effect all it tells us is what the size of that correlation is. So we'll use uh, ANOVA's regressions or other techniques to calculate whether or not this is a significant correlation. But that's a simple Corel function in Excel for starters.